The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. We're going to talk about a couple of aggressive growth stocks here with our aggressive growth strategist, Brian Bolin. You've got a couple of interesting categories this time, Brian, drugs and computers. Drugs and computers. And, you know, tech and healthcare have been big uh, performers over the last uh, year or so. Yep. Uh, I would expect uh, they would continue to be on the upside into 2016. So Codexis, is that how this is pronounced? Yeah, is I think the drug stock? That, that's probably a good way to say it, Codexis. Uh, you know, and, and why I like this one, they... they you know, I determined that this, you know, this name for this should should be more that this is the uh, supply chain for a big biotech. Okay. And so kind of like, what does that mean? You know, this company is, what they do is they make uh, biocatalysts. So they make the proteins that help uh, the efficiency of big name drugs. Uh, some of them you've probably heard of. Mm. Uh, have you ever heard of any of these drugs that, they, that they've helped out? Which are they? Uh, Zocor and... Lipitor. Oh, sure. That's uh, cholesterol drugs. Cholesterol drugs, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, proteins. You, you even helped me out in, in figuring out what the, <laughs> how proteins are going to be, uh, you know, helped inside of that system. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's basically what they do. Now, it's a Zach's rank number one. It's got a growth style score of A and a value score of F. And you know, maybe from all the times that I've been it's here. the combination you like. I love that combination. Okay. Growth strong, value weak. Because as I say, there's only two types of investors. There's growth and there's value. And they are looking for different things altogether. And when it's got a good growth score and a bad value score, mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Uh, so we also see three straight beats of the Zach's consensus estimate. So that tells you that they've been uh, doing quite well here. Estimates have been moving up in a very big way lately. Uh, and, you know, when we take a look at this very small stock price, $4 per share, uh, and we have negative earnings, uh, you know, so we don't really get the P.E., we still know that there's uh, another way of valuing the company through other metrics. It's still somewhat expensive. Uh, so just don't let that $4 price tag fool you on this one. All right. If we look at the chart, we can see it's been moving up from, you know, the 350 range to about $4. You know, that 50 cents doesn't seem like a lot, but that in percentage uh, terms is a big move. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's what, uh, you know, the whole stock market is based off of the percentage moves, not the price. So think of it, that as a move from $35 to $40 as opposed to $3.50 to $4. We will do that uh, <laughs> based on your recommendation. And, you know, I should also bring up here about this while we're still talking about it. Sure. Uh, they do have two very large partners, uh, GSK. Uh, GSK, K is that right? Yeah, and, 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 and Merck. So when you think about, uh, you know, the supply chain, they do have the big partners that are in there. So this is like a, a long-term good story as well as a short-term because of the Zacks rank number one. And earnings coming up here, uh, the estimated date is March 1st for that. So look for that. I think we're going to have good things coming up. All right. The computer stock, uh, Logitech, is actually a computer peripheral stock. Right. So when we say peripherals, it's not the actual computer that they make. It's the devices that you use to make your computer easier to use or better for you. So maybe a keypad, a wireless mouse, mm. or possibly even a headset. You know, I have this particular Logitech headset, and, and I love it. Uh, not only is it, you know, wireless, it's for what it can pick up on Bluetooth, I can also have this uh, nice little thing and a carrying case for the dongle, wow. Terry, the dongle. Mm. And that you stick right into the USB port and then it'll uh, give you about a 30 foot range or so with that. So uh, I'm a big fan of the Logitech headset. I can see that. I can uh, skip my music forward, backwards. I can have phone calls. I can switch between Bluetooth and my dongle. Mm. I'm a big fan, Terry. I think you've established that. Yeah. And, and <laughs> now that I've made myself look like Carrot Top by bringing in my prop and going overboard, let's go through why I like this stock. You know, it is a Zach's rank number one. I was wondering when you'd get to that. But. <laughs> you know, you got to throw in some different <laughs> things, some curveballs once in a while. Okay. Um, it's a one. Uh, the growth and value uh, style scores are C, so you're kind of in the middle of the road there. Uh, the, over the last 11 quarters, we've got 10 beats. Uh, of the Zach's consensus estimate and one meet. So what that tells me is these, uh, the management here is solid. They know how to guide the quarter. They know how to get expectations where they need them to be in order to beat. You know, and that, that's very important when you miss, and especially in a market like this, you know, where there's a, you know, possibly a bear market here, 
uh, missing the quarter will get you punished in a way much more substantially than uh, than just meeting or you know beating will give you a positive. So, mm -hmm. not missing is a is a key idea in in a weaker market. Okay. Um, you know, last quarter they had a good beat here, 11 cents, uh, which was a large you know dollar amount, but that was a 40 percent positive earnings surprise. Uh, you know, I like this name Logitech as a value play uh, versus the big brand names. And when we're talking about headphones and and this sort of thing. You know, you automatically think of Beats by Dre and these other, you know, very expensive uh, brand names that are out there. You know, the Logitech headphones for me have been great, uh, and I think I got them at a fraction of a price of Beats by Dre, and I've been very happy. You know, when we think about all their other products, there's numerous, you know, wireless keyboards and, and mice. It's the plural of uh, mouse, right. Terry. Yeah, I got it. I, I'm just here to listen. <laughs> so I think that you know Logitech offers that. And when you're talking about you know again a weaker market, you know are consumers going to go dial it down on the brand? Are you going to say instead of having the Beats by Dre headphones, you know that, mm -hmm. that Apple or whoever is doing that does that, or am I going to go with the Logitech headphones? Okay, I, well. like, I like to keep more of my money in my pocket, so I went with the logic, and I'm very happy about it. All right, I think we gather that uh, at this point. You've got a, you would uh, think that they're going to give me some sort of benefit from all this uh, well, publicity. Well, you know, if the stock thing never works out, you've got the Home Shopping Network to back you up, I think. so. <laughs> yeah, that or QVC. Check, you know, check one, that one of the out. two, right? Yeah. <laughs> so here's the chart. Trading at 21 times forward estimates is a little bit stiff, but, you know, obviously we've seen that last uh, most recent quarter with the solid beat. And that's why the stock price has uh, moved sharply higher. Invent a couple of things uh, and go on TV and sell them. They'll do a movie about you, too, just well, like the woman with the mop. I'm hoping for it. Do you own either one of these? I do not. All right. Check out more stock information on our website, Zax.com. Some articles even Brian has time to write in between testing products. And you can link to all of the information right off the home page. Hey, by the way, if you are watching our videos on the YouTube platform, don't forget, you can always uh, subscribe to them there and even comment on them. And the comments that come in for Brian are pretty interesting, <laughs> to say the least. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.